Now, how do various tissues and organs get affected? One thing is very simple that there are certain areas from where the pathogens enter our body. It could be a cut in the skin or it could be mouth or it could be nose and in some cases of worms it can even be anus. So, basically where there are openings there only there is a chance of infection. Now, when we eat food so obviously the source is mouth. So, when the source is mouth because mouth leads to the digestive system the effect will also be on the di digestive system. Like let us take the case of water borne diseases. If we have consumed adulterated water and the virus has entered our body through water it will go and affect the liver because what we are going to suffer from is jaundice. If we have taken in bacteria for cholera it will go and disturb our digestive system. So, it, it is sometimes related the source and the target. So, in such cases source and target can be same source and target. Then another case that is that of nose if we have taken contaminated air in and it has entered through nose where will it go? Obviously, through trachea it will reach the lungs. If you have been to a traffic prone area or maybe industrial area or even a hospital there are enough chances that you may have inhaled contaminated air and this can cause respiratory problems. So, which organ will be affected? Obviously, the lungs there are problems of lungs even people who smoke can develop lung cancer because what they do is they inhale tobacco filled air. So, the organ is like that affected, but not always in some cases interestingly enough the source and target are different. For example, the AIDS virus can spread from one person to another through sexual contact, blood transfusion or from mother to child, but where does it affect the lymphatic glands and which system is affected the immunosystem. Similarly, in the case of malaria the source is a mosquito bite and the first point is blood, but where does it ultimately reach the liver. So, this is the story of target and the source we never know what is the target and what is the source it can be sometimes misleading also you may think that I have not been to any other point where I, went, I was exposed to source of infection. So, I will not have a problem, but even then the target can be anything we have to be very careful even a small cut can cause problem. Now, what is the issue with AIDS? AIDS itself is not fatal, but it is like a country without its defense system. Now, imagine if India did not have its air force army and navy then we are vulnerable if a field did not have its own wiring or its own fencing any animal can enter if your house did not have compound wall it is vulnerable to burglars and to the thieves. So, everywhere protection is very important our immunosystem protects us from any kind of infections. So, when AIDS happens then our immunosystem goes down and the result is a simple common cold can turn into pneumonia. A simple cut can cause septic which does not get healed at all. So, ultimately the death can be because of these things the secondary infection.